The U.S. economy seems to be firing on all cylinders, and our next guest has a unique perspective on how investors are benefiting. John Schlifsky is with me. He's the chairman and CEO of Northwestern Mutual. For 160 years, Northwestern Mutual has been helping Americans achieve financial security through their insurance products as well as their wealth management services. Northwestern Mutual has... Uh, $235 billion in, in assets under management, and then $110 billion in retail accounts, uh, more than $1.8 trillion in life insurance protection as well. John, it's good to have you on the program. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. You have huge assets under management. First, let me get your take on how you allocate that capital. Tell us what drives your investing theories. So we we're, we're, uh, believe in uh, the fact that we're not really good at picking markets. We tend to be fully invested at all times. And on the margin, we tweak towards risk assets or away for risk assets. Right now, we're pretty constructive on the economy. So we have a overall tilt for more risk assets. But uh, generally speaking, we're very bullish on what's going on right now. And, and we're excited about it. And, you, and you've got, what, $1.8 billion coming in on a monthly basis in terms of new powder to put to work. Right. Our investable cash flow on a monthly basis is about $1.8 billion. So we're constantly in the market buying. That gives us a little bit of an advantage because we're rarely forced to sell assets to create space. And uh, uh, right now we're, uh, you know, investing across the spectrum, international, domestic, fixed income, equities, everything. So uh, on a, from, a, from a mutual standpoint, uh, life insurance company, you tend to do more bonds right. than stocks, is yes. that right? Yes, from a regulatory perspective, we have to hold more fixed income, but uh, Northwestern Mutual's business model is such that we have uh, a lot of risk assets, probably more than most of our peers, and that gives us a, a leg up in the investing world in terms of total return over yeah, the long term. Exactly, So because you've got more riskier assets right. than, than typically. You've right. got uh, private equity and stocks and, and, and other things like that. So let me ask you in terms of the backdrop, because this past week we had some mixed signals. I know we just saw two straight quarters of 4% plus right. economic growth, which right. is great. Right. But we got a retail sales number that was uh, weaker than expected weaker. on Friday. Right. We got inflation that seems to be nowhere, which we're going to talk about with Robert Kaplan coming up. What's your take on where we are right now in the backdrop, this economy? I still think the economy's got some room to grow. If you look at all the leading in, in, uh, economic indicators, they're all relatively positive. The yield curve is far from inverting. Uh, inflation's around, core inflation's 1.9. The Fed can't really raise rates aggressively, so they're going to be very modest. I think you'll probably hear that in a minute. Uh, so generally speaking, and the consumer is, is strong. You saw wage growth uh, starting to tick up more aggressively than it has in the past. I know the retail sales were weak in August. Some of that was probably seasonal stuff. So I'm, uh, we're still thinking that there's room to grow in this economy. I don't think a recession's anywhere in sight. Yeah, you, you're right. I mean, it's amazing how things have changed. Right. Would you attribute that to the policies that we've seen, tax cuts, rolling back of regulation, among other things? These economic policies have certainly helped. I think, I think there's a lot of tailwinds right now. You've got, you're right, tax policy. We've got a pro-growth uh, business environment coming out of Washington. Um, you've got, you still have uh, balance sheets at, uh, 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 Fed balance sheets across the world still growing. Ours is sort of flattened out. The Fed balance sheet here is flattened out. But if you look at what's going on in China and Japan and Europe, those are still, so there's a ton of liquidity plus a very pro-business environment. So I think the growth is still good. 